my loves! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello, my name is Loie. We are back once again to look at some creepy TikToks. Today's video is really fun because it kind of accidentally became like a mini love letter to a ton of my favorite horror creators on TikTok. It's just kind of a smorgasbord of videos from people I really, really like to watch, which is kind of cool. So I'll have everybody listed down below as always, but go check them out if you like the content I'm showing today. How have you been doing? I hope you're really well. Let me know in the comments down below. I've been okay. Um, I feel like every time that I do one of these videos, I really like to say, how are you? You know, how are things? And then I say how I am. And every single time the answer is, oh, I'm bad. <laughs> things are bad. But I've been writing diary entries over on the channel memberships tab of my channel. If you wanna join those, you can click the join button probably right next to the subscribe button on the screen. Um, and that's really been helping me process my emotions. It's really nice to be able to talk to people and just say what's on my mind. So thank you as always for listening. Without further ado, let's get into the TikToks. Make sure to follow me on TikTok over at LoeyBugXO and tag me in any of the disturbing, creepy, and haunted finds that you come across on TikTok. You never know, your video might just pop up in one of these compilations. The first two TikToks come from a new favorite creator of mine. That would be the account Horror With Me. Horror With Me watched and in this first TikTok discussed the documentary that came out on Netflix about Malaysian flight MH370. If you're unfamiliar, this is a flight that uh, it, it's believed to this day the most popular theory and what people have explained it away as is that this flight went down over the ocean. It's why we never found any remains, etc. But there's a lot of mystery and speculation around it nonetheless. So I'm going to include a little bit of information from Horror With Me's original TikTok just to talk about like what we know about the flight and set some ground rules. I just finished watching the Netflix documentary MH370 about the Malaysian airplane that vanished without a trace almost 10 years ago on its way from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. On March 8, 2014, flight MH370 takes off from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing on a red-eye flight. At 1.19 a.m., the pilot says, Good night, Malaysia 370, and completely disappears from the radar. The plane is never heard or seen ever again. So the documentary is three episodes and each episode explores a different theory. Now, in case you couldn't tell it by the way that I was talking about the first TikTok, that was really just to set you up for our second TikTok. Again, from Horror With Me, in which she talks about some things regarding MH370 that I never knew about. Specifically the fact that there's evidence to suggest that people's cell phones who were on that flight, their phones stayed on for up to 16 hours after the flight had already gone missing. Long after the world had realized that the flight was missing and could not be found, family members of the victims on MH370's calls were still going through to their phones. One woman even got a call from her father who was on the flight. And I'm gonna let you listen to this TikTok now that explains it more. So hours after the plane was supposed to land, family members were gathered into a room and they would try to call their cell phones to see if they would answer or what would happen. So when they tried calling, their, the phones would just keep ringing instead of going straight to voicemail. Now this is weird because at this point, the planes didn't have enough fuel to be up in the air. And then like a lot of the theories suggest that if the plane did crash into the ocean, their cell phones would be going straight to voicemail. It wouldn't be ringing. And we also have to talk about that woman who got the call from her dad. And this was way past the point where, you know, people were thought that the plane had crashed already. She got a call from her dad. How would that even be possible? Like th at this point, the plane had already crashed, presumably. How would she have gotten a call from her dad's phone? Yeah, it was unfortunate that she did miss the call. But does anyone else have any like theories as to why their cell phones would ring instead of going straight to voicemail? Because to me, 
and to a lot of other people, it just doesn't make sense. This whole thing just sent a chill down my spine. The entire mystery surrounding Malaysian flight MH370 is one that fascinates me and terrifies me, and it's such an awful tragedy. But so many things about it just don't make sense to me. How did her father call her? long after the flight had already gone down, long after they wouldn't have had any more fuel to fly the plane. I don't know, but it's eerie, to say the absolute least. As I said, it's largely believed that Malaysian Flight 370 crashed into the Indian Ocean, but no remains have ever been found, and there's apparently scientific proof to back this up, which I'm not entirely familiar with. Nonetheless, really, really creepy. Then from TikTok user Raikey86, we have a really weird video from this poster. The poster explains that they heard a really loud screeching noise and ran downstairs while filming to see if they could catch something on camera. So I was upstairs and I heard this loud screeching noise and a loud noise. <laughs> What the... I heard a loud screeching noise and a loud bang. What? What? It seems that something had dragged a chair in her home across the floor before knocking it over, and that was the screeching sound she heard. The poster also in this video hears noises coming from the cabinet and the kitchen, despite them both being empty. Moving on to our next TikTok, we have one from CV Nella, who is one of my absolute favorite horror creators on TikTok. She's seriously so underrated and she streams all the time on Twitch and just talks about the most interesting, scary stuff that nobody else does. So again, I'll have everyone listed down below, but CV Nella is one of my absolute faves. The TikTok is in Spanish, but has English subtitles. And essentially, it's this guy who works in what looks like a fulfillment warehouse. There's like pallets everywhere and just like merchandise, like stuff wrapped up in these pallets, right? He works in this warehouse. And he says he's working entirely alone. So imagine his horror and shock when he sees the reflection of a person in the plastic wrapping one of the pallets. Can I show you a scary video? No, because I'm, I'm actually terrified. This video is so creepy. And I'm surprised that not a lot of people are talking about this video. This video was posted by user Juan Ryder, and as you can see, the videos are going viral. It was posted on February 16th. And in the video, Juan claims to be working alone at work when suddenly he sees this. Pay close attention to this area. Quiero que chequen algo en esa tarima de ahí. Eso. Y chequen, eh. Estoy yo solo. Ni de este lado. Ni para acá. Now, after he has this sighting, the rest of the video is him walking through the warehouse, seeing if he can catch a glimpse of somebody, but he never does. Once again, he was entirely alone. How did that reflection appear if no one else was in the room with him? Seems paranormal to me, baby, and I'm just gonna walk right on out of that warehouse. Uh, please quit your job. Maybe burn the whole building with fire. I don't know. That was a joke. That was a joke. It could, of course, be a trick of the light or a misunderstanding, but it looks like a person. Next up, we have a video talking a bit. Ew, I really hate that. I really hate that my A L E X A in the bathroom just went off when I'm talking about a ghost. Ah! Okay, so next up on our list, we are talking about the Serbian dancing lady. So many of you have told me to talk about this, asked me if I've heard of it, 
And honestly, I could do a whole video on the Serbian dancing lady. I thought about kind of like explaining it further in detail in this video, but it's sort of just a long story. So let me know if you want a full like video or a terror time on that down below. However, the Serbian dancing lady has gone incredibly viral on TikTok for terrifying reasons. It's claimed that this lady, dubbed the Serbian dancing lady, because she's always in like traditional clothing, can be seen dancing when one is out walking late at night. And if you interrupt her dancing, she will attack you, as you can see in this video. There is a woman in Serbia known as the Serbian dancing lady. She's been seen and caught on camera multiple times doing this dance. She's been seen in different locations, but only late at night. If you disturb her dance, she will chase you down. <laughs> the Serbian news have also covered a piece on this very strange story. And no one knows who this person is till this day. However, if you see the Serbian dancing lady, run. Now the original video that kind of set off this whole rumor, I guess, or trend or urban legend is from 2019 and is pretty creepy. So again, if you want an entire explanation on the Serbian lady, let me know and we can do that next. Next up is probably my favorite TikTok we're talking about today. And it comes from the user Emily with an E. I cannot emphasize enough that Emily is not like a paranormal creator. She's not a scary content creator. She doesn't talk about ghosts. She just talks about her life and things she likes. And she's a pretty big TikToker. So imagine her surprise, uh, as well as her entire audiences when she would inevitably post this, when one day she is home alone and she can hear a door downstairs opening and closing on its own. I am home alone and doors keep opening and closing and I feel like I can, you can probably hear it because it keeps happening and I don't know what it is and I'm scared to check it out. Holy f I promise I am not joking around with y'all like y'all can even see like I'm sitting at the stairs of my room because I don't even have a door. It sounds like it's one of the second floor doors like opening and closing. I don't know what it is. No windows were open so it's not like there's a breeze coming in or anything but like I promise y'all I'm not f***ing around with y'all like I don't know what to do right now. I just called my sister, I just called everybody and nobody's home. It's literally just me and I don't understand what's happening and I feel like I'm gonna try to catch it on camera. So Emily decides she's going to try to catch this noise on camera. She sets up shop in a bathroom and she catches something I know she wasn't expecting to. Okay, also the thing, I'm gonna put my camera here because I think it's this door. The thing that scares me is I recorded a video like I don't know, I'm like frozen. I'm frozen, I don't wanna check that. I know no one's in there. I know nobody is in there. I, I, I'm I, not even trying to be funny right now. I cannot believe I got that on camera. I'm sweating, bro. I don't know what the to do right now. I need to get, oh my God. Literally, as she started filming, the door behind her opens on its own. She's very clearly freaked out. I think her reaction makes this entire video. It's so obvious this girl was not expecting that to happen. The thing that scares me is that a couple days ago, I just did a video where I asked you guys to like help me pick out an outfit and I haven't posted it yet. And legit in that video, I heard the same thing, but I thought people were home. So I was like, oh, whatever. Like it was probably my sister or something. But like, I cannot believe that just happened. The thing too is like, I promise you nobody's in that room either. Nobody's in that room. I am here all alone. I'm about to go inside. Watch, I'm about to show you. I have to turn this light on though because you got me all the way up if you think I'm gonna just walk into straight darkness. Okay, I'm about to go in, watch. I'm, oh, I'm scared. Oh, that scared the out of me. Oh my God, nobody's, oh my God, I'm scared. Nobody is in here, y'all. Nobody is in here. Like, nobody is in here. What the? Literally, as she started filming, the door behind her opens on its own. She's very clearly freaked out. I think her reaction makes this entire video. It's so obvious this girl was not expecting that to happen. She shows inside of the room from where the door opened. Of course, nobody is inside. And after this, she posts our next TikTok, which was a follow-up to the situation. So everyone's been asking for an update and if I'm okay. Um, I'm fine physically, but mentally, spiritually, they got me all the way 
up uh just because it wouldn't stop happening i don't know i felt like i couldn't update you because it just wouldn't stop happening in this emily says that the activity did in fact continue she also expands a bit more on her paranormal experiences and talks about her home in a bit of depth we also did do like cleanse of the house we use the palo santo all that fun shit. Um, yeah, it just wouldn't stop happening. I also did see in the comments people being like, oh my god, but maybe like you, her AC was causing the wind to go. I live in Jersey. I have no business turning on that AC. It is brick degrees outside. It is freezing. The last thing I'm gonna do is turn on an AC. This is not Miami. We are not having fun over here. It is freezing in this. But yeah, I don't know. It just keeps happening. I wouldn't be surprised if it kept happening. Um... It probably will happen again sometime today. I guess I just have to live in fear, bitch. but it's okay because I got these hands. Thanks for asking though. I think Emily has really great content. I wound up sort of like binging her TikTok after this. And again, the fact that she doesn't make paranormal or scary content basically ever really makes me feel like this is a genuine experience. I mean, it's just so creepy that the minute she sits down, in that area to see if she can like catch something on camera, see if she can catch something moving. That door opens on its own, just like she kept hearing. Next up, it's been a really long time since we talked about TikToker Jay Barari and her incredibly haunted home. Again, kind of like the Serbian dancing lady, Jay Barari could have an entire follow-up video to my first one. So much has happened, we're now mutuals on TikTok, maybe we could chit chat about some of their experiences. But regardless, months and months and months later, after my initial video on Jay Barari's home, the activity has not stopped. Yeah, there's some light on in there now. Holy shit. Oh my god, what the f Also, the reason this is going to like a scary side of TikTok video, specifically this one with TikToks that can't be explained, is that I can't explain any of the experiences Jay Barari has had. I have never ever in my life seen such a crazy haunting before. And it just truly, in my opinion, cannot be explained, but you should watch it for yourself. There is no lack of horrifying paranormal content on Jen's account. Next up, the account Heart Starts Pounding has quickly become, once again, one of my favorite horror accounts on TikTok. She always has the spookiest, most interesting stories you've never really heard anywhere else in her videos. So of course, she talked about something I had to share with you. In this video, she talks about a photo that had been posted to Reddit. This guy basically posted it saying he kept hearing weird noises in his kitchen, so he took a photo. And when Redditors brightened it, they saw something. Now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. So the other day, a Reddit user posted this photo to Reddit. It's of his apartment at night. He had been complaining of hearing rustling noises in his apartment over the last couple nights. Many users thought they could kind of see something in this area of his kitchen, but I couldn't. So I looked at the Brighton version. This is the photo brightened. And I know what you're gonna say. Yes, it does look like Keanu Reeves, but look at how tall he is compared to the fridge but it gets so much worse. This is a video he took of his apartment at night where you can see something happen to the light in the kitchen. But let's look at the Brighton version. Yes, it's terrifying, but is it a ghost? So it turns out something was lingering in that photo. And then in the video that was posted later, whatever that was seems as though it has the exact same face. It's clear enough that it could be a real person, but he's so tall and something about his facial features just seem 
a little off. It could just be that the videos are really low quality and grainy and dark and this is totally someone pulling over a hoax. But at the end of the day, I just don't think it can be explained away in my head. Then we have a video from Dino Nuggets 741 who has posted a ton about their haunted home in the past. We've talked about some of these videos, but this one in particular is a little weirder and more intense than all the rest. In this video, the poster walks into the bathroom to find that the shower in there has turned on all on its own. Then when he's in the bathroom, the sink turns on. And when he goes to turn it off, watch the mirror carefully. Again, oh, I'm standing right here. Time to move. It's time to move. As the sink is shut off, we can see a shadowy figure pass by, and I got so freaked out, I almost jumped out of my skin. But since this, something I find very interesting is that the poster has moved and very rarely posts content anymore. He's still experiencing some haunting and some paranormal activity, but nothing like it used to be in his old house. And it makes me wonder if that shadowy figure in the bathroom wasn't just a joke he was trying to play on his viewers but something paranormal for real. I don't know, sometimes with accounts with like tons of paranormal activity, I tend to kind of judge it and uh, wonder if it's always all real, right? And that's just because even as someone who has a lot of paranormal experiences of my own, I'm not experiencing paranormal stuff that intensely all of the time. But this story is still a question mark in my mind. And that's why I feel like it can't be explained. This next TikTok is from Death to Decaf and comes with a pretty substantial story. I wondered if I wanted to include like all of the relevant TikToks from this situation, but it gets so messy isn't the right word, just weird and complicated and a little confusing, so I'm just gonna tell you about it myself. This video opens with a poster coming outside of their home to find that their neighbor's rocking chair is rocking back and forth by itself, and that's somehow the least scary thing that is said in the entire TikTok. So I came out to my porch to use this filter again and tell me why that rocking chair is moving. So, a long time ago, some bad shit happened here. People died, whatever. I've talked about it in previous videos. We're not gonna get into it. A lot of weird stuff happens here. Anyway, the weirdest thing, my neighbor has been missing for like three weeks. Young girl, just graduated high school, works at the local grocery store up the road. She's always in and out, going back and forth to work. Last time I saw her was almost three weeks ago. I was pulling in from work. She was getting into her car. She looked real cute all dolled up by herself. She left and that was the last time that I saw her. So just about an hour ago, before I made that video, I see a black Nissan parked in front of that little girl's house. Mind you now, she drives a little red car. I come out to the porch, I look around because I'm gonna make that video, right? Right when I go back in and tell my husband, there's someone there. She walks out of the apartment like, really fast there's no car there so that little girl is not home right over here is the girl's footprints she left with nothing in her hand if i'm a friend checking on the house and she's run away with a boyfriend i'm grabbing her clothes getting her toothbrush not just running in and out of the apartment right i come out that chair's rocking so what is happening what should I do? So, okay, this TikToker's neighbor is missing. And this stretched out into like a multi-part TikTok 
thing. And I think it went that far because this neighbor was really worried. She was really worried about her neighbor and just wanted to do right by them. So the TikToker called for a welfare check. She asked around, you know, she's trying to get a hold of friends and family. All she wants to know is that her neighbor is okay. And again, she's not really getting answers. She eventually got in touch with family after a while and after hearing some conflicting stories, found out that her neighbor was just traveling in Japan. On January 14th, the poster's neighbor finally came home, but the neighbor never really got to the bottom of this entire story, despite talking to so many friends and family. I think that makes sense because it's probably just for that neighbor's privacy, but nonetheless. This was a creepy, creepy story as it was unfolding. I know it scared and worried a lot of people, and I'm glad it had a happy ending. So then TikToker Spooky Foodie made a video about a haunted doll that stands apart a bit from the rest. It's a haunted Sully doll, remember Sully from Monsters, Inc.? Well, a couple bought it, not knowing it was like a haunted doll, took it home, and now they're having intense experiences and just want it gone. There is a haunted Sully from Monsters, Inc. doll on eBay right now. The listing title is Haunted Doll, Active Spirit. Please read our experiences. At this point, I'm not comfortable reselling this to someone without sharing our experiences or what to expect without sounding like a crazy person. I have no say on whether this is a positive or negative spirit, but I know this is very rare and want to leave it in the hands of someone more experienced with these type of items. Okay, here are their experiences. We acquired this from our last thrift haul four days ago and set it on our entry hall bench. Second day of being in our house, we heard a strange noise coming from the nearby bathroom that sounded like something falling. After inspecting, nothing was out of place. Third day of being in our home, we again heard something falling in the entryway, but much louder this time. At this point, we were convinced someone was in the house and searched everywhere. Nothing was out of place. Fourth day of being in our home, we were asleep in bed. I woke up from a really horrific dream, and about 20 minutes later, the motion sensor was activated, despite it being turned off, and it started talking. The specific saying was, I'm glad you're here. Things were getting pretty scary. It was nowhere near any type of movement or light from outside. After this TikTok, the doll was sold, and we haven't heard anything since. But I think that the concept of getting, like, I don't know, a Woody doll, a Sully from Monsters, Inc. doll. I mean, heck, even a Raggedy Ann doll. You know, Raggedy Ann dolls probably weren't even creepy. Clowns are kind of creepy, so take that with a grain of salt. But, like, the Raggedy Ann dolls got so much creepier after Annabelle, right? Like, they weren't necessarily, like, all creepy, all haunted. It's just so weird to imagine, like, I don't know, something like Sully from Monsters, Inc. having a demonic entity or something attached to it. The next TikTok is from user Stop Asking If I'm Doing Drugs. Now, I wanted to talk about this because it feels a bit like a glitch in the Matrix story. And you guys know how I feel about Glitch in the Matrix stories. So I was on my way home from work, right? And I stopped at karaoke night to say hi to a few friends. And I left early because I was supposed to get home early to help my mom get my stepdad up the stairs because he just got out of the hospital. Anyway, so I left karaoke night. I said goodbye to my friends, whatever. And I like started walking and there was this cat. This cat walked right by me, looked exactly like my kitten. And, like I thought the cat got out when my mom was helping my stepdad down the stairs to bring him to the hospital earlier. So I started following him. I was like, Mr. Kitten. And like I followed this cat for a really long time like down different streets like like i did not want to lose this cat like i was following this cat for like 20 minutes before this cat turned onto my street and started running it's so, like for whatever reason i started recording because like he was like getting out of eye shot like i wanted to see if i could like zoom in to like see him kitty and then like we went further down the street we were on my street now and like the cat turned and ran up my staircase so like i started running to like follow him like at that point i was like yes this is definitely my cat like he knows where he lives you know and i got there and the cat was gone where'd the kitty go like there's a lot of snow by my stairs but like i heard the cat under the stairs right and so like i trudged through the snow to like look under it. there was no cat like the cat was not there he just disappeared and then i realized the porch lights were on and i was like oh sh my parents got home before i did because i had spent so long following this cat like i completely lost track of time like i forgot like i was supposed to like help my mom bring my stepdad upstairs and i was supposed to be the one to turn the porch lights on when i got home first it's so, like the lights were already on and i was like oh sh like i was freaking out like i lost the cat like i didn't know where the cat went it's so, like i got inside like i was ready to cry and like i walk in all the lights are already on like my parents are home and both of my cats are just sitting in the hallway. 
and like I was talking to my parents about it I was like I'm sorry I got home so late like I was following this cat like I thought it was Mr. Kenton you know and they told me they were glad I followed the cat but like the cats had never left the house they're both indoor cats like Mr. Kitten is a runner so like I was right to think that like that was Mr. Kitten but like he was there the whole time the cats did not step foot outside the house so whose cat was that and why did it take me down like all these different streets and how did it know exactly where I lived and why did it disappear at the staircase and for anyone wondering what happened to my stepdad he fell earlier today and like so he's on crutches now and like he had to wear a neck brace for a little bit but he's okay to me this entire story feels like something was really watching out for the poster it almost is like would something bad have happened on her usual route home? That's always like the first thing that pops into my mind when really unexplainable things like this happen. Like, were you being kept safe from something? Were you taken out of a situation by this little cat spirit who just wanted to guide you home safely in a very roundabout way? Because why would she have seen her cat running through the streets if her cat was at home the whole time. Okay, you say, there are stray cats out in the world, it wouldn't be that weird if she saw a stray cat that looked like hers. Why did it finally take her back to her house and then disappear? When my cat Carson got out of my house in spring of last year and I had to go looking for him, I thought every single brown tabby I saw was my cat and he looked nothing like any of them. So again, I understand that that's a possibility, but it's just so strange that in the end, the cat led her home. Next up, I wanna talk about two TikToks from one of my favorite content creators, Morg, who shares life in a very, very spooky part of Appalachia that they live in with their partner. So as Morg is exploring this creepy like farmhouse that has been stumbled upon, specifically to show the viewers these like weird dolls that were abandoned behind, she catches something on camera. I'm to show you guys these, oh, these dolls really quick. How about fell? Oh my God, okay. Look at these. And they were just in that closet. I have no memory of these at all. Look at this one. What is hers? They're all just in there. I don't, I don't know. Oh my god, there's too many sounds happening in here. I gotta go. At the beginning of the clip, if you look in the very background over Morgue, you can see what looks like the back of a man's head. This has been a reoccurring horrifying thing that she has experienced over and over again, specifically with seeing the back of her husband's head. There is like something that disguises herself as her husband and is only ever standing with its back to her. That's the only time she'll ever see it. And it's usually when her back is all said to him. The weirdest thing about this is that she posted a clip of her husband filming outside and you can literally see in the window as she's walking through the house to film the video that I just showed you. Whatever this thing is that she's experiencing, it's mimicking her husband and kind of only making itself known when she walks away, which is petrifying. Now I did talk about that last TikTok on my account if you're like, oh Lo, I feel like I've heard you say this before. And the next TikTok I have to show you I've talked about on my TikTok too, but listen to me when I tell you this is one of the weirdest stories and it's one of the few that now actually I do have an explanation for and I wouldn't have it if I had filmed this when I originally like found all of these videos, so that's kind of cool. The user BlueFrenchHorn26 explains that she's not the one who saw this glitch in the matrix. Her daughter's boyfriend did, and he saw what I'm about to show you while he was driving to lifeguard training practice. There is a bird hanging in the sky as though it has like been frozen in time. And there are clearly like people like standing around watching this like horrified. Now this does have an explanation and so many people were saying it has to be a fishing line, it has to be a fishing line, and I truly believe this bird just fully glitched in the air. Honestly that was what I thought was more believable, but it was actually just a fishing line. If you're wondering to yourself, well Loey, how did you finally find that out? It's because Christine Quinn from Selling Sunset <laughs> commented on my video about it and told me that she had found out what happened and had to share it. And I thought that was the funniest thing. My life is so interesting. I wanted to include this video because now we know there was nothing paranormal or glitch in the matrix about it. But I'm going to be making another full glitch in the matrix video very, very soon. 
it seems like our little simulation of reality is once again in need of a hard reset or something because what's going on? I don't know. Nobody knows. TikTok user Soldier Haunts is just hanging out in their home one day, broad daylight for the record, when suddenly a pounding sound can be heard from the back door. They approach the door to find the source of the knocking, but nobody is there. And then there's a knock at the front door. In that front door knocking clip, to me, it looks like you can literally see the door shaking as somebody pounds and pounds and pounds against it. And then the poster opens the door and of course no one's there. I did see like a person with them in this clip, but I don't think it's like somebody like banging on the door. I don't think it was supposed to be a secret and you know, they accidentally showed them because that person was like gasping as you know, the doors start pounding at opposite ends of the house. They seem just as startled as their poster does by what's happening. This final video is from TikTok user do you believe underscore two who captured a big shadowy figure at their door. What the f Too scared to open my door. It's possible and probably most likely that this has got to be a bear or a dog or some kind of animal, but this would still scare the heck out of me. If you aren't expecting something to walk up to your front door and something does, and your dogs are going ballistic, that's a scary experience. In the event that whatever was there was dangerous, I'm glad that the poster never did open the door. And there you all have it. Those were 18 scary TikToks that I can't explain. Well, maybe one or two I could, but let me know what you think of these down below. I wanna say a really big thank you to my subscribers who are members of this channel. If you ever wanna join the channel memberships, you get extra members exclusive perks, including members only videos like vlogs through my daily life, my diary entries where I talk with my real life and share things I wouldn't necessarily post to just everyone, as well as channel emotes and loyalty badges and other cool perks like members only up updates, polls to decide on new videos. It's a cool place to be. If you want to join the channel memberships, just click that little join button. It should be right next to the subscribe button under this video. We would love to have you. For now, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you very, very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!